we got we got a great guest. We'll get back to that. Whatever. Okay. We we have a we have uh, a guest that I've been wanting to get on for some time, and I'm not gonna waste any time because I would be wasting her time. Right. Welcome to the Portaway Podcast, and everything's undisputed. By the way, if if y'all don't know by <laughs> now, everything's undisputed. Light middleweight, middleweight. I don't even know if she's like if she's uh, undisputed as super middleweight yet. But she more than likely is going hey, to be. That's three times. It's a lot of belts. That's up three in the, times. It was a lot of belts in the ring the other day. I just didn't know how many of them hey, was 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 from before. <laughs> can she hear us now? Yeah, she can. Hold on, let's just bring her in. Let's oh, just bring okay, her in. All right, all right. yeah. Welcome to the Portaway Podcast. Pound for pound, queen of boxing. Oh, look at her. Look at her. The quote look of at- boxing. <laughs> and she is not froze. She better not be froze. What's up, Clarissa? She is? nah. Clarissa. Hey y'all, what's up? Carissa, are you going to save some belts to somebody else? Or are you just going to go all over the place, take all the belts? I mean, it's my job as a champion <laughs> to give everybody a chance to be a champion. So, okay. you know, if Is they want to if they want to test themselves against me, I'm going to take their belt. And if I want to <laughs> test myself against them, I'm going to take their belt. That's about it. Okay. That's messed up. I mean. Hey, listen. How, how was life? How was life? Oh, uh, man, I am. I am still floating from 15 days ago, man. Like, one camp was phenomenal. I had 16-week camp for Savannah Marshall, you yeah. know, and it was 11 weeks originally, but then, a, but then the queen died and then a postponement. But uh, since I went in there and did my job, like, it's just been celebration after celebration. First, my hometown threw me two or three big celebrations, and then up in Puerto Rico, the, uh, the WBO uh, honored me. Now the WBC wants to honor me. Uh, the fans of the UK want me to, you know, want me to come back. I have a trip plan to go to Dubai for for my first actual vacation. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> uh, life is great. <laughs> and and uh, the, the Detroit Lions, did they honor you as well? Yeah. The, the, plus, so plus. the Detroit gotta- Lions today gave me. My own jersey Ooh. today. Two two. Okay. Called me okay. on the field. I got to show my belt and in front of the place was packed. I mean, probably like fifty thousand people were there, and they all just clapped and screamed and everything to me. Uh, just so excited about all my accomplishments. So that happened earlier today, and I really just got back home uh, yeah. just now. I re- I reached out. My fault. Let me get the word. I reached out to Dimitri to see if I can get you on the show today, and he he chirped back at me, just asked what we were going to talk about. I was I I I just want to celebrate you. I want to yeah. make sure that on the Portaway podcast that you have uh, gotten everything that you deserve, and that you have had an a, a moment to tell everybody everything that you've done and, and been able to uh, to get from becoming such a phenomenal woman and phenomenal boxer, phenomenal athlete. So I really just want to take, I told him, I said, Hey, tell her, give us 10 minutes, 10 minutes of just celebrating you, darling. That's all I want to do right now. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. Everybody has been uh, giving me my flowers and I just find it like, I don't know, like I've already been celebrating myself for years. You yeah. know, I've already seen this coming, you yeah. know, I've already seen my potential and know that my potential gets better as long as I let it get better, you know? So I've never not celebrated me. Now it just feels different to see everyone else kind of celebrate me and respect me and really just all agree that I am (laughs) pound for pound number one in the women's division. Yeah. That I am the quote in that, um, I can be ranked in the men's division as far as in my skill level. So You know, I'm just happy that everyone is all up on one one accord and on the same accord as me now. Sure. Even sure. though I had to take down the giant to get it done, I just knew that um I would I knew that things would be my way. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> hey Carissa, uh, you know, before before your fight, I tried to watch I went and watched the Olympic fight with Savannah. Uh thirty seconds into it, I said, Miss Carissa won this. Easy. Carissa, yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. the Olympic BS. Yeah. But, hey, yeah. what, what sucks for Savannah is that little few, what is this, 10 years later? How long has it been since that fight? 
Well, me, me, me and Savannah didn't uh, didn't fight in the Olympics. We fought in the World Championship. Yeah, yeah, I could. Yeah, I, yeah. Wanna, I was, I was gonna let you. Yeah, 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 let you cor- let yeah. you correct him. Yeah, right? you know I was gonna. You know I was gonna get him. Yeah. <laughs> you know I was gonna get him together. Yeah, yeah. We're playing now. He's he's he's. But done. um, it was uh ten years ago. Okay. And ironically, we fought in China, and London was hosting the Olympics, and she's from okay London in the UK. Okay. So. Um, that's why I think that they favored her and they gave her the win over me. You know, all my fights before then on a, uh, on the point system, I scored 30 points or more, mm-hmm. you know, so to have this one fight in my amateur career where I landed only where, where, where they say I landed eight clean shots, but I threw over 160 shots, mm-hmm. you know, never made sense to me. And I watched the fight over and over again when I was 17. And, and I watched it about 100 times. And never once did I watch it and say, man, this girl really beat me. Never once. I just was like, wow, I got robbed. But we can't harp on a robbery because we have the Olympics in three months. And that's what really matters, the Olympics. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you gave us, I mean, the girls are running boxing this year. I don't <laughs> care what nobody say. I would say the girls... From your fight to Alicia, Michaela, Amanda, and, and Katie, I mean, the girls, I would say top three fights of the year. And if you take, you know, you, we know how it goes, Carissa. You know, some, some men won't look past it's women in the ring. But if you look past that, the talent at the women level right now, all-time high, I, I literally had a, you, Carissa, you might have, do you have this old crazy black uncle? Because I got one. <laughs> and I told him, I said, <laughs> I want you to watch this girl this week. He's like, all right, I'll watch it. I says, it, it's, she, she, she like, let's take a girl from the hood fighting a bully. I said, just, just look at it, uncle. Just check it out. And now why did I tell him that? He came back, oh, <laughs> she'll whoop this person's butt. I said, uncle, relax, okay? I told you to watch somebody, <laughs> but you got a fan of my uncle down in Louisiana. He, he looked past the, the women and just looked. He seen talent in the ring. And you got up in there and you, I- you put it on that girl. Yeah, I have never seen um, just my entire city, the entire USA, the entire men's boxing, women's boxing, UK boxing, all of them so excited Mm -hmm. for a fight. Like, Mm -hmm. me and Savannah Marshall really had bad blood and probably still do have some because I know she hate me (laughs) for beating her the way that I did. (laughs) You know? Damn, (laughs) the way I did. Yeah, like everybody was talking about some oh, who was going to be fighter of the year, Amanda Serrano and Katie or Savannah Marshall and Clarissa. And I let everybody know I didn't. I, I didn't go to the UK to have a close fight. Mm-hmm. I tried to knock Savannah Marshall big. I tried to knock her big ass out. Yeah, I, I seen it. I seen it. <laughs> I did. I seen it. You, you know, but you know, she can't was whisper um, it. We was, still heard. She was. She was. She was durable. Yeah. You know, she was tough. Yeah. Um, she was about one ninety five fight night. Yeah, she looked big. I was uh 168. And that's where really her punching power comes from is her rehydration. Mm. You know, she's a bigger girl and she has height and length. You know, so I fought against a bigger girl, a girl who had more knockouts. They booed me out, mm. booed the national anthem. She been mocking me and ridiculing me for 10 years. And then I went out there and just beat her. Like we was fighting in my backyard, you know. So I'm super proud of myself, and I, I earned every every bit of it. And I'm not mm-hmm. going to talk. I, I'm not going to stop talking about how bad I beat her up <laughs> for years to come. Hey, we, uh, is it possible we get it again in the states if she want that work? Because you know, I will. I will beat Savannah Marshall up again. Yes. Yeah, in That's Vegas or want. Barclays, you know she. Carissa do it anywhere. Nah, if, if me and Savannah Marshall fight, we either got to fight in Vegas at the T-Mobile mm-hmm. or at Little Caesars in Detroit. One or, oh, one okay. or two, okay. but definitely somewhere in the USA. Right. For sure. Right. Yeah. And I think we can do another all-girls card. The, the women, hey, women is no joke. I was hyped. Hey, y'all stole the show. No disrespect <laughs> to everybody else. Two weeks ago, y'all stole that weekend. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I'm just, hey, Oh, yeah. I'm already knowing. Hey. 